I realise that I haven't yet shown you where I live, so uh, let me introduce you. My girlfriend and I, we moved to Winchester in June this year, about four months ago. We'd lived in London for about six years and felt like it was time for a change. Covid definitely accelerated our thinking. Winchester's a relatively small city, about 120,000 people. Not too small, not too big, but significantly different to London. And when deciding where to live, we, we had this map of England. We had this list of about five or six cities, one of which was Winchester. And we started researching each of these cities online. And pretty much before even visiting, we essentially decided we want to live here. And it basically took one trip here to set our minds in stone. And when people come and visit here, they describe it as like something out of a movie. The city is old, it's full of history and architecture. Some of the houses are like four or five hundred years old and absolutely stunning. And for quite a small city, it's relatively lively, like it's got a busy high street and loads of restaurants and bars. And it's super, super green. You look at the city from above and you pretty much see more trees than houses. And it has this river going through it called the River Itchen. It's a chalk stream, so it's got perfectly clear water. And we spent the summer swimming in it, which was a lovely experience. And I'm used to like residential areas of like Surrey and London where when you leave the town or the area you just go into the next village or the next town. But when you leave Winchester you go straight out into like rural countryside so you've got like the South Downs and the New Forest, just like beautiful rural countryside all around the city. And I loved living in London, but it always had this feeling of being temporary. And don't get me wrong, like London is a, an amazing place to live. And running through central London is amazing. Like you really get to know a city as a runner. And over the years, I built up loads of good friends in the city, but I never felt like I'd live there long term. It never felt like a home. It never felt like a place I was gonna set down roots and live for 20 years. And I've always found it amazing when you move to a new place very quickly, get to know whether it feels right or not. And I've lived in some pretty interesting places, like I grew up in the suburbs of Surrey, I then went to university in Lancaster in the northwest of England. I spent a few summers living on a beach in Greece. I lived on a hotel in the French Alps, right on the ski slope, and then spent six years in London, and now moved to Winchester. And I have totally different memories of all these different places. Like, I never loved Surrey, but I will always have fond memories of living in Lancaster. And whilst I never felt that I really belonged in the uh, French Alps, Greece is like a second home to me. Absolutely loved that place. But it's funny, I've been in Winchester now for four months and already it feels like home. Life's definitely a bit slower here, it's a bit quieter. And when you walk past people, they smile at you. And, and that might seem like a small thing, but, but it does give you a nice feeling about a place when people are outwardly friendly. And I can genuinely see myself living here in like 30 years, probably still running with the running club. And it's hard to explain exactly why it feels so much better. Like my go-to is to think of all like the quantifiable, rational, logical things about why it's better to live here. You know, the standard of living, the quality of life something that I can list and put my finger on. My girlfriend thinks in a much more emotional way. And in this way, Winchester doesn't feel like my home because the standard of living is better. But my intuition is definitely telling me that this is home.